University and Saint Antoine Hospital in Paris in France. And uh, it is my pleasure today to give you a brief summary about uh, the work we have presented at the last uh, EHA 2024 annual meeting that was held in the beautiful city of Madrid. And that was about uh, the long-term follow-up and overall survival uh, related to the magnetism MM3 uh, trial which has led to the approval of an anti-BCMA bispecific antibody in relapsed refractory multiple myeloma, namely irenetamib. As you probably know, we are very fortunate uh, today to have at least two bispecific T-cell engagers uh, directed against BCMA being approved and widely used and this is about teclistimab and arenetimab. Teclistimab has been approved thanks to the Majestic 1 trial. Arenetimab was approved thanks to the Magnetism MM3 trial. And at time of uh, the publication of uh, this Phase 2 single arm registration trial of uh, arenetimab in Nature Medicine in August 2023, we didn't have uh, the uh, final follow-up regarding overall survival. So, as a reminder, I would uh, emphasize that the trial included 123 patients. Uh, they were not BCMA exposed in this cohort, and all of them, by definition, were relapsed refractory and triple class exposed. And these patients uh, exhibited a lot of uh, uh, bad prognosis features, including a high incidence of extramedullary disease, but also a significant proportion, roughly 40 to 50 percent, being pentadrug refractory. And these patients received a median of five lines of prior uh, therapies. So you would imagine that these are hard to treat patients. And now, with longer follow-up, uh, we can confirm uh, the response rate around 60 to 65 percent, uh, especially uh, response rate included uh, at least one-third of the patient achieving complete remission, which is a mandatory step for long-term outcome. The median progression free survival was around 17 months, almost one year and a half, which is also uh, a very uh, good uh, number, I would say. And now uh, we have a median overall survival of more than two years, actually 24 point something months. So these results uh, are really attractive because they really uh, confirm uh, the uh, robustness of uh, arenetamab as a BCMA-directed uh, bispecific uh, antibody. And uh, uh, this is bringing a lot of hope. And actually, these bispecific antibodies are, uh, represent uh, uh, an amazing salvage treatment now to many patients and we are really fortunate having at least two already available, teclistimab and ranetamab. But in the near future, uh, I'm very optimistic that uh, we will see uh, novel data about uh, lymphoceltamab, which is another bispecific directed against BCMA. We have seen also uh, some great data, and it's already approved about talketamab which is directed against GPRC5D. And during EHA and ASCO, we had uh, some amazing results related to Sevostamab, which target another antigen, namely FCRH5. So you can see we have a wide variety of these bispecific antibodies, so we will be able to play with them, and at some patient will like need all of them, and when you put all together, 
it's about ending the outcome, improving the outcome, and extending survival. And this is really uh, beautiful, and I'm very, very positive about the development of bispecific antibodies, but also immune therapies in general, including, of course, the uh, CAR T cells.